Hey, Playtime City friends. Today we are doing some science experiments and some of them include detergent. All right, let's get started. This should be a fun experiment. I'm calling it the rising candle. Are you excited much? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Playtime City friends. We are going to need a candle. We're going to need some pigment or food coloring. We're going to need a glass cup, jar, whatever you have, and then a measuring cup, a stir, and a plate or dish. The first thing we have to do is fill the dish up with water. Go ahead, Munch. Okay. Pour it in, Munch, but don't pour it to the very top. Okay. Oh, there we go. I think a little bit more can go. A tiny bit more. Think it's good? Yeah. Awesome. Now for the food coloring. What color do you want to make the water? Yellow. Yellow? All right, so we got to open it up, put a couple of drops in there. Okay, we'll pick that little guy up from the cap, good. And use the stirrer to stir it around. There you go. Make it yellow. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. Is that enough or you want some more? Let's add some more. More. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Okay, that may be it looks like a supersonic -y yellow. Oh, you like supersonic. <laughs> All right, I think that's mixed up pretty well. Now the next part of this experiment is for the parents to do. Okay, kids, you do not do this part. The parents are supposed to do it. All right, so I am going to light the candle. And now we're going to place it in the dish very slowly. Here we have it. Do you see it much? Yeah. All right, now it's your turn for the next step, which is pretty awesome. Take this cup, put it down over the candle slowly. Try and keep the cups, yes, straight. There you go, and let it sit. Is it going to rise? Is it sucking up the water inside the cup? Whoa. Oh, uh, but the candle went out. But it's rising. What's rising? The water? The water. Oh. Rising in the cup. While inside the container, the candle heats up the air and the air expands, eventually forcing some of the air to escape from the container through the water. When the fire goes out, the air cools and the volume decreases. And since the air is no longer taking up all the space, the water, along with the candle, start to rise up. This looks like a volcano, but we're not going to erupt lava, we're going to erupt snow. I'm calling this no eruption. Are you excited or confused much? How can a volcano erupt snow? I don't know. But first, obviously, we need a measuring cup with some water. You can fill it all the way up to the top, right there, however much you need. We have a volcano mold. You can actually make your own mold. Here, we have some baking soda. We have some citric acid. And we have some absorbent resin. Okay, then we have a dropper to pull the water out, as you can see there. And then we have some measuring spoons to measure out each of these into here. All right, Munch, you ready? Yeah. Awesome. So the first thing we want to do is put in some baking soda. Open it up carefully. Take a teaspoon full. Can you dip it in there easy and get it out, or is it gonna be too messy? Yeah, too messy. Let me do it. We changed to the one fourth teaspoon, which means in order for it to be a full teaspoon, we have to do four scoops of each. So there's the first scoop. Go ahead, Munch. Drop. Number two, here you go, Munch. Good, we're gonna do the same with the other two. All right, so now that we have them all in the mold mixed up, we are ready to erupt. Not for lava, but for snow. So what you have to do much is take the dropper, mm -hmm. squeeze in some water, and 
slowly release it over. Yeah, you see it's fizzing up. We already know the fizz. Look at that. Go ahead, keep doing it. Keep adding some more water. Yeah, we've already seen like the fizzy yeah. stuff but, with our fizzy planets. And also the erupting volcano kit that we did. But what's going to make this different is the resin. We have not used resin before. So this is going to have a different reaction. It's not going to be lava. It's going to turn into snow. Oh, it's making a huge mess on my countertop. my countertop. Sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Now both of us have droppers. I'm going to drop it at the same time. Awesome. Now it's, now it's blowing away. And look, it's snow. I see the snow right here. Snow forming. Did you see it? Mm. Right yeah. You feel how cold it is. It's super cold, right? It's not like actual snow. It's like fizzy snow. Fizzy snow. Look at it, it's frozen on the side. Look at that. Did you see it right here? Oh yeah, it's so oh, frozen. Oh, now you just put water on it. But all down here, look at it. It's like ice chunks. There are a few steps happening when we add water to the citric acid, baking soda, and absorbent resin. The resin can absorb and hold water that is hundreds of times heavier than itself which essentially makes the absorbent resin grow in size. The citric acid, baking soda, and water create a gas that speeds up the absorption process, thus creating a snow eruption. So much, how do you like what you see? Good. Was it pretty cool? Yeah, let's see how it feels. Yes, no. Ooh, well, friends, we hope you enjoyed this volcano. Remember, you're gonna need your parents to help you with this one as well, but it's pretty cool. I try a snowball. Oh, you're gonna make a snowball. Pretty awesome. Look at this. It's a, <laughs> a little snowball. I think it's too like watery. So yeah. that's why it's like crumbling. Yeah, it's gonna start melting. Awesome. Hey Munch! We have detergent, oil, and water. What do you think we're doing? Um I don't know. A density test. What? I'm calling this layer it up. We're going to see how the different densities of these materials interact with each other. Will they mix or will they stack up on each other? I think my title of this science experiment kind of gave it away. All right, so what you'll need guys is detergent, oil, and some water. We want some blue coloring because we want to make it look pretty. We don't want to just look at yellow and white clear water right and so then we have some test tubes to put these liquids in and we're gonna put food coloring in it to mix it and then we're gonna use the dropper to slowly transfer the liquids into this cup once it's empty all right so which one of these liquids do you want to color first um, let's do the detergent. It's detergent. It's detergent. Okay, he doesn't know how to say it correctly. Detergent. Detergent. All right. We want you to fill it up to this line here. You see? Can you fill it up to there? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Perfect. All right, let's put this back into the test tube container. Slow. Oh. All right, that's a little too much. I'll dump some of that out. Now we have water. Right. Slow. Slow and steady. Let's ready. Yep. That's, that's pretty good? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna just dump this because we don't need any more of the water. Yep. Now that we have our liquids in the test tubes, we now have to color them. We need eight drops in each of them and we want to make each one of these a different color so you don't want to use the same color i did bring in our stirrer so you can mix it all right much so which one are you going to do first and in what color all right so let's first do the water and blue blue 
Okay, count eight, drop. Remember, self-control. Awesome. And here's your star. Okay. Yeah. Much has been taking karate, and so when they're practicing with each other and sparring, their instructors tell them to use self control. Control it. How fast, how slow. So when I tell him use self control, he knows what to do, right, Munch? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that blue water is looking like the ocean. Pretty cool. All right, so what's the next liquid you're going to mix? Next one we're going to do is the detergent 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 okay guys i'm gonna put it right on the screen detergent and then we're gonna use green what color green, green. all right mix 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 why is it not mixing it is going to mix but it's going to take some effort Stir a little harder and a little longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look at the oil. It looks like little droplets. Gotta really stir that one up real good. We added more liquid because we are going to fill it up into a more narrower container glass so that you can see the layers a little bit better okay so the first one to pour in is the detergent go ahead munch you can do this regular speed because it's the only one going in and let's get it all in awesome now we have to be slow and steady with the next one which is water Because you don't want it to mix. You want it to have time to come back up. See, that was a lot right there, but. You see it? How you're not mixing. Yeah. Sometimes it tries to go in, but it stops. Look, they slow it down. Get the plastic. There, see? Has it mixed? So do the same with the oil. Oil. The oil is the red one. Here we go. Nice. Why is the oil bending? It mixed in a little bit with the water and the detergent, so it's a little bubbly. But it looks pretty cool, right, Munch? Yeah. So now you can really see the separation of the colors. So that tells you that detergent is very heavy, the density, so it goes all the way to the bottom of the glass. Water is not as heavy as detergent, so it sits on top. Oil, is lighter than water. So it sits on top of the water. So this one has the least amount of density, this one has the most. And this one's kind of in the middle. So this is a better shot of that experiment. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. Density is the measure of how heavy something is compared to its size. For example, if there are two boxes of the same size, one holds rocks and the other holds feathers, the box with rocks is heavier and has a higher density than the box of feathers. With the detergent, oil, and water, the amount of material in the object, also known as mask, varies. The material with more mass or high density will sink to the bottom, and the material with less mass or low density will float. And with this experiment, we see that detergent has a high density, water is in the middle, and oil is low in density. That's why it floats on top. Well, we hope you like these cool experiments. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.
don't forget to subscribe.